What's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Maple and Honey. There's a lot of new bourbons that are supposed to come out in 2024. This is one of them right here. The Old Forester 1924 bourbon. It's a 10 year old uh, bourbon age stated and coming in at 50% alcohol and 100 proof. There's a lot of Old Forester fans. I'm, I'm one of them. You, you see the bottles behind me. I probably have more Old Forester bottles than any other distillery bottles. So let's open this bottle up for a little bit. I'll share my thoughts on this bourbon and I'll give you my recommendation at the end. Let's get started then. A couple notable things about this 1924 bourbon. Number one, it's age stated. There's four other bourbons in this whiskey roll series of Old Forester bourbons and none of them are age stated. But this one, however, it stayed at a 10 years old. So that's something different. The other ribbons are projected to be six to eight years old, but this one here, they're saying 10 year old. So it's a bold statement. Two, this is supposed to be a limited engagement bottle or limited series. I don't know if they're gonna make it a yearly series or whatnot, but the other four whiskeys in the Whiskey Row series for O4 Cert, they're not limited. So they're readily available for the most part and you can find them in most liquor stores or, or grocery stores. And three, the cost of this bottle is $130 which is two, three times the cost of the other four whiskeys in the same Whiskey Row series. So those are the three things that are, are pretty you know, notable for this whiskey coming in. Again, it's a highly anticipated bottle for 2024. A lot of Old Forester fans are out there. They've been waiting for this and it's finally here. So let's get right to it, guys. First, the nose. The nose on this is very enticing, very approachable maple syrup right off the bat very sweet very sweet butterscotch butterscotch like melted butterscotch slight ethanol burn but nothing you can't handle very inviting very enticing i love that all right let's go for a sip guys cheers this is a very sweet bourbon make no mistake about it very sweet very inviting um, you know it's 100 proof so it's not too spicy it's not too hot i don't want to say gentle but approachable welcoming inviting it's very good it's very good let's go for another sip here lots of plethora of vanilla it's mounds and mounds full of vanilla thick maple syrup the mouthfeel on this is quite a standout. It's really thick and rich and creamy, like a vanilla cream, almost like whipped cream, like very creamy and milky. I do have to say that the finish is not the best. It's there, but whether it's because it's 100 proof or whatever the reason, the finish is a little bit mellow, a little bit underwhelming. Now, even the flavor of the whiskey itself, now I mentioned the vanillas and, and butterscotch is there, but and a lot of that is there, like a vanilla bomb, like a vanilla cream and rich uh, bomb is in there. So it's sort of like a one noter, but a really good one noter. Just lots of sweets and very thick sweets and very creamy sweets that's coming out from this bottle. Let's go for our last sip. A little bit hazelnutty, like hazelnut syrupy. You know, you know, I used to work at a coffee shop and I used to make coffees all day, you know, during my college years to make side money. And there's a, a rack of all the syrups like vanilla, hazelnut, caramel, butterscotch. It, it literally reminds me of, of, of that row, of that row of syrups in here. A lot of vanilla, a lot of butterscotch, caramelly, rich and thick and gooey. It, it just reminds me of that right here. So, finish i wish there was more more life on the finish i wish there was more a little bit more extension on the finish but it, it isn't it isn't i really like long and lasting and fulfilling finish but this one doesn't give me that satisfaction that's a little bit disappointing so that's my quick review of the 1924 old forester bourbon is it a good bourbon i think so i think it's a very good bourbon now do i recommend it again i said it was a great bourbon do i recommend this to you, to the bourbon drinkers out there who are looking for a great bourbon. Here's what I think. I don't recommend this, and here's why. This cost $130 plus, $140 basically, retail MSRP. 
$140, guys. That's way, way too much. That's almost insulting to a consumer. Compare that to the other four whiskeys in the Whiskey Roll series. They're all in the $40, $50, maybe $60 range, and they are all great bourbons. They're actually great bourbons. I, you know, I've that's my second bottle of 1920 in a year, and I, that that thing is amazingly, amazingly good, and I love that bottle. But to charge this $130, $140 MSRP, it's like this. Imagine I'm a big car guy, or I used to be a car guy before I had kids and, and family. Honda Accords, Toyota Camrys, everyone loves them. Very dependable, very nicely well-made cars, and everyone considers them very good cars. You know, they're $30,000, $40,000 max, right? They're good cars for those prices. Now imagine, they start selling these Camrys and of course, or whatever good cars are out there that's in the $30,000 range, they start selling these cars for $80,000. $100,000. Now, is that a still a good bargain? Is that a still a good car? I don't think so. I don't think that's a good buy. At $100,000, you're expecting a lot more than just a dependable, good performance. Scott, you want an exceptional car. You want something that'll leave you an impression whenever you get in the seat. This one is darn good whiskey. Old Forster 1924, it didn't disappoint me at all. I thought it was a very good bourbon. But you're charging me $130, which is what? Two times, three times the cost of 1920 bourbon, 1910 bourbon, which is, I, I'm gonna say almost as good as this, or if not the same as this. I think that's actually upsetting or insulting to, to the bourbon buyers or bourbon lovers. You know, it's a great whiskey, but you can't charge that much for a whiskey that's just good, just sweet. I don't agree with that. And hence, you know, I cannot recommend this for $140 if you find it. I think the secondary right now, it's going for $200, $300, which is outrageous. Don't even consider that. If I came across this again for $140, 100% pass. Now, if it was $50, $40, $60, definitely a good buy, guys. And recommend it over and over. $140, hard pass. I think it's absolutely shameful for a company to charge that much as if they're trying to take advantage of the, our, our bourbon drinkers or all, all this bourbon boom that we're experiencing right now. That's my little spiel on this 1924 bourbon. Great bourbon. The price, it doesn't warrant it. It doesn't even come close to it. I think you could buy multiple, you'd rather buy three bottles of 1920. I think that's a better strategy than just buying this for $140 or trying to buy it at, at secondary for two, three hundred dollars. I don't recommend that. So, so there you have it, guys. Appreciate your time. Uh, have you had the 1924 O4SR bottle? Let me know at the comments section. I'm happy to respond to that. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.